Hello students and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover a very important problem solving technique related to the chapter of chemical equilibrium. And basically I'll be teaching you that how you can use the approximation technique to simplify your calculations in a number of situations. Okay? So we'll be discussing about how to use approximation in problems of chemical equilibrium. So I'll be covering this concept in two parts. The case one will be when the value of K is very large, when the value of K is very large. Now you will ask me, sir, how will I get to know that whether the value of K is large or not? So guys, in general, you can assume that if K value is greater than 1000, that is 10 raised to the power three, then you can assume it to be very large. Okay. Matlab, with the, te the technique, which I'm going to share with you will be applicable to those uh, situations when the value of K is greater than 10 raised to the power three. Okay. So how can we use the approximation technique? First of all, let us try to understand the significance of this. So suppose beta, I have a reaction A goes to B. Okay. And the value of K for this reaction is extremely large. It is greater than 10 raised to the power three. Okay. So what do we write as the expression of the equilibrium constant? See expression of the equilibrium constant is concentration of B at equilibrium upon concentration of A at equilibrium. This will be the expression of the equilibrium constant. Now, if this particular value guys, if, if this particular value is very, very large, then this would mean that the concentration of B, that is the product at equilibrium is much, much greater than the concentration of the reactant at equilibrium. But if the numerator is much, much greater than the denominator, then only the value of equilibrium constant can be very, very large. Alternatively, I can also say that if K is very large, this would mean that the reaction has a very high tendency to go in the forward direction. Matlab, this basically means that you have taken A, whatever the amount of A which you would have taken initially, that is almost completely consumed. Okay, then only the value of B will be very large and the value of A will be very small. Okay. So this essentially means that the concentration of reactants at equilibrium at equilibrium almost approaches towards zero. Okay. So if the value of K is very large, this means that the concentration of the reactants, which in this case is A, almost tends to zero, which means that the reactant which you had taken initially is almost consumed and it is now converted into product. So this is the very useful technique guys, which we can use for carrying out approximations and hence we can simplify our calculations. How is it exactly done? Let me illustrate this with the help of a couple of examples. Okay, students. So let's have a look at this example. Let me read the problem for you. So it says that in a reaction, A plus B goes to C plus D. One mole each of A and B are taken in a vessel of volume one liter. The value of Kc is equals to 4 into 10 raised to the power 6, which I am sure you can realize is a pretty large value for K. Find equilibrium moles of all species. Okay. Now you can solve this problem normally also. I mean, if you have studied chemical equilibrium, then you must have solved such kind of problems. But over here, we are going to make the use of, or, or, or should I say, we are going to mathematically use this fact to our advantage that the value of K is very, very large. Okay. So how can we quickly approach such, such type of problems to simplify our calculations? Let us have a look. Okay, students. So I'm writing down the reaction once again, A plus B goes to C plus D. And at T equals to zero, I have taken one mole of A, one mole of B. And of course, if nothing is mentioned about the product, then they will be zero each. So C and D are zero beta, right? Now, obviously it is going to move in the forward direction. So T equals to T equilibrium pay. I will write one minus X, one minus X. Here I will write X and here I will write X, right? Now comes the important feature. If you look at the value of KC, it is an abnormally large value. Four into 10 raised to the power six. That is a very, very, very large value for K. And this means that the equilibrium has almost gone to completion. It has almost shifted in the forward direction. And this means, my dear students, that the concentration of the reactants approaches zero. It is not equals to zero, but it, is, but it approaches zero. So basically what we do is that we put one minus X equals to Y. Let me call this Y. And I will say that Y approaches towards zero. 
1 minus x equals to y and y approaches towards 0. Now, beta, if y is equals to 0, if y is approaching towards 0, then obviously if you put y equals to 0 here, then x will approach towards 1. Not exactly equals to 1, but it will approach towards 1. Okay. So, see, the idea over here is that if something is approaching towards 1, for example, if it is 0 0.99999, then I can approximately write it as one that is not a crime I have committed. Okay. So in place of X, I will put one in place of X, I will put one and in place of one minus X, I will put Y and again in place of one minus X, I will put Y. You will ask me, sir, you should put them as zero. No, something which is approaching zero is not equals to zero. I can't write 0 0.001 as zero. But yes, I can write 0 0.99999 approximately equals to 1. This is not a crime, students. Okay. So I hope you realize the subtle difference between these two situations. And now uh, these are my moles at equilibrium. And since the volume is 1 liter, so moles and molarity will be same because moles I will divide by 1. So I will again get the molarity. So basically, I will be writing 1 as the molarity of C at equilibrium, I'm simply writing the expression of KC. One as the molarity of C at equilibrium, because I'll be dividing these by one, so I will get one only. One as the molarity of D at equilibrium upon Y into Y. This is the expression for KC, which is equals to four into 10 raised to the power six. This means that uh, Y square is equals to, Y square is equals to take the reciprocal one by four, into 10 raised to the power minus 6. Okay, take the reciprocal, you get this. And this means, my dear students, that y is equals to 1 by 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 mole, which means y is equals to uh, 5 into, this will be 0 0.5, 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 moles. I hope you all got this. 1 by 2, four, I have written as 0 0.5 and then I have adjusted this in the power of 10. So now, the problem is solved in a jiffy. Moles of A at equilibrium is equals to moles of B at equilibrium is equals to Y, which is equals to 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 moles. And guys, moles of C at equilibrium is equals to moles of D at equilibrium is equals to 1 mole. So this is how you can use the technique of approximation. Let me illustrate one more example to you so that it clarifies your concept. Okay, students, so let's have a look at another illustration. So this time the reaction is given as 2A plus B goes to C plus D. KC is again very, very large, 4 into 10 raised to the power 6. Two moles each of A and this is A. A and B are taken in a vessel of volume 1 liter. Find equilibrium moles of all species. Again, a similar type of a problem, but with a slight difference. What's the difference? We will find it out. So the reaction is that 2A plus B goes to C plus D. I hope I have written it right. 2A plus B goes to C plus D. Exactly. And now at T equals to 0, I have taken 2 moles of A, 2 moles of B, and volume is 1 liter. So C and D, nothing is mentioned. So they are 0, 0. Now, obviously, at T equals to T equilibrium, this is going to move forward. So here I will write 2 minus 2X. Here I will write 2 minus X. Here I will write x and here I will write x because if x of this is consumed, then 2x of this is consumed. Now, the difference between this problem and the previous problem is that in the previous problem, guys, both these terms were coming out to be same. Okay? Both were same. 1 minus x, 1 minus x. Do you remember that? Okay? Both the terms were same. So, when both were same, you could have put any one of them as y. But remember, we are putting it equals to y and then y tends to 0. Right? So now when the terms are different, you just can't blindly put any one of them as y. You have to put y, you have to put that term equals to y, which is actually tending to zero beta. So now suppose the value of k is very, very large, of course. And if this reaction goes to equilibrium, sorry, if this reaction, uh, the value of k is very, very large, which means that the reaction almost goes to completion. And if this reaction goes to completion beta, then the limiting reagent, suppose karo ki ye completion pe chala gaya. Let us say it goes to completion. Okay? So if it goes to completion, then can you figure out the limiting reagent between the two of them? Moles of A upon A. 
moles of b upon b so of course the fraction for this will be smaller right if the reaction is going to completion then the limiting reagent will get consumed okay so this is pretty important over here that you will be putting 2 minus 2x equals to y y approaches 0 and when y equals to 0 x is equals to 1 this is your approximation technique over here so now i will put this as y and 2 minus x x is 1 so this is 1 this is also 1 and this is also 1 and now very quickly i will write the expression for kc so it will be volume is 1 liter so moles upon volume will be molarity moles and molarity will be same concentration of c at equilibrium into concentration of d at equilibrium upon concentration of a at equilibrium whole square into concentration of b at equilibrium is equals to 4 into 10 raised to the power 6 and now very quickly guys if you solve it you will again i think get the similar sort of a thing y square is equals to take the reciprocal 1 upon 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 and this would mean y is equals to 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 moles okay so you know why and you know the moles of all the species so a will be this much and b is 1 c is 1 and d is 1 these are the moles of all the species that it will very quickly now we move on to case 2 which becomes very very simple now so case 2 my dear students is the value of k is very small and in general you can keep this as a guideline that when it is less than 10 raised to the power minus 3 so if it is 10 raised to the power minus 4 Minus five or minus six, then the value of k is very very small. Okay, this means k is small, very small. And if the value of k is very very small, then this means that if we write the expression for equilibrium constant, R goes to P. Here R is the reactant, P is the product. So that will be concentration of P at equilibrium upon concentration of R at equilibrium, and this value is very small. So if this value is very small, means the concentration of product that is the numerator is much 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 less than the concentration of reactant at equilibrium and this also means that the reaction hardly moves in the forward direction theek hai matlab bilkul ja hi nahi raha forward direction mein and the amount of product formed is negligible this time so concentration of product at equilibrium approaches towards zero a very small value of k means the reaction has almost negligible tendency in moving in the forward direction and therefore the concentration of product this time approaches zero how will we use the technique of approximation let's have a look okay students so let's have a look at this problem for the reaction 2a plus 3b goes to c plus 2d kc is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 9 reaction is started by taking two moles each of a and b in a 1 liter vessel okay find equilibrium moles of all species need to find out the equilibrium moles of all species so i hope you all can realize that this time the value of k is a very very small value bahut chota value hai k ka 10 raised to the power minus 9 so this means that the reaction hardly moves in the forward direction okay so if i write down the reaction once again 2a plus 3b goes to c plus 2d 2a plus 3b goes to c plus 2d theek hai i hope i have written it correct 2a plus 3b goes to c plus 2d yes very good and i have taken two moles each of a and b kc is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 9 so so how will we go for this so t equals to 0 pe guys i have two moles of this i have two moles of this and c is 0 and d is 0 now t equals to t equilibrium pe of course it is going to move in the forward direction because product is 0 it can't go backward so here i will be writing 2 minus 2x here while i will be writing 2 minus 3x here i will be writing x and here i will be writing 2x okay so now beta k is very very small so this x and 2x basically they will be tending towards zero and if x is tending towards zero then 2 minus 2x is approximately equals to 2 this is also approximately equals to 2 and this is again tending to zero so i cannot write it equals to zero same logic right this is 2 minus uh, 2x and x is let us say 0.00000001 so 2 minus 0.00000001 into 2 is still very small theek hai so this is 1.99999 which is approximately 2 this is 1.99999 which is approximately 2 but 0.00001 is not 0 this is what i am trying to say and this will be equals to 2x 
Now, very quickly, you can write your expression for Kc. Kc will be equals to concentration of C at equilibrium into concentration of D at equilibrium whole squared divided by concentration of A at equilibrium whole squared. Volume is one liter, so moles and molarity will be same. Into concentration of B at equilibrium whole cube is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 9. Okay. So now, beta, what happens over here is that this 2 square and 2 square gets cancelled out. And we eventually get x cube is equals to 2 cube into 10 raised to the power minus 9, which means x is equals to 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 moles. So now very quickly, moles of A at equilibrium is 2 moles, moles of B at equilibrium is 2 moles. Moles of C at equilibrium, moles of C at equilibrium is equals to 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 moles. And moles of D at equilibrium is equals to 2x, which is 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Okay, so I hope you all have understood this. That completes the very important problem solving technique of how to use approximation in uh, those cases where the value of k is either very large or it is very small. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the concept. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do share your thoughts. And if you have any requests, do drop it in the comments. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much, students. I will see you again in the next video. Till then, do take very good care of yourselves. Thanks a lot.